Aortic stenosis is a degenerative calcific disease of the aortic valve, which is the main valve that connects the heart to the rest of the body. Over time, the valve develops calcium deposits and narrows to the point where the blood flow from the heart to the rest of the body is diminished. The standard of care for the treatment of aortic stenosis for the past 50 years has been open surgical aortic valve replacement. However, many patients are simply too old, too frail, too burdened with other comorbidities to be good candidates for open surgery. As a result, roughly 30 to 40 percent of patients with severe aortic stenosis are not offered the gold standard treatment for severe aortic stenosis. And it's precisely for those patients that we've been looking for alternatives. This is a minimally invasive method of replacing the aortic valve precisely for patients who are not good risks for open surgical aortic valve replacement. It involves either approaching from the femoral artery or from the apex of the heart through the chest wall. What you're seeing is a delivery sheath being advanced from the femoral position into the aorta. What you see is a guide wire sitting across the aortic valve in the left ventricle. Now the delivery catheter is advanced over that guide wire across the native aortic valve. The new transcatheter valve is mounted on a balloon sitting now across the native aortic valve. Rapid pacing begins and balloon inflation ensues. The new valve is then deployed. As the bloodstream strikes the leaflets, the leaflets begin to move. The delivery system and the wire are then withdrawn. You now see in cross-section the new valve opening and closing, having relieved the native aortic valve stenosis. As we've gained more experience, we've begun to realize that, like many other percutaneous procedures, we don't have to subject the patients to the risks of general anesthesia to accomplish the transcatheter aortic valve replacement we can actually do many of these cases under conscious sedation. Conscious sedation involves sedating the patient with various medications ranging from fentanyl and Versed to propofol. By avoiding general anesthesia, we can actually minimize the invasiveness of the procedure to the patient. We can minimize the length of stay for the patient in the hospital and really get the patients up and moving faster after the procedure.